So I'm starting my Saturday off by basically taking Catherine to the vet again. If you guys saw about three weeks ago, I did have to bring him to the vet because he was having like boogers and snot come out of his nose. And they gave me antibiotics and honestly he was good up until probably about two days ago. And yesterday, all last night, I kept hearing him sneeze and phlegm coming out. So I called the animal hospital yesterday. They said just come in at today at 10.30. They're gonna test the little, I guess, the boogers or whatever to see what it is. I'm hoping it's nothing too serious, but we gotta do what you gotta do. You know, he's my child, he's my first priority, so I'm definitely gonna take care of him first. So I'm gonna quickly bring him to the vet. Let's go see what the doctor has to say. This time we came in the main office. I guess maybe he's not contagious or it's not that serious, but still gotta check it out. Right, Cap? We gotta check your boogers. Gotta check your boogers. Oh, my, yeah, my technician says he's just kind of a bleh. Yeah, it's it's like when he gets excited when like if he's normal hanging out at the house he doesn't do so it. So when did he have breakfast? Maybe an hour and a half ago. An hour ago. Yeah. Like usually around like eight ish or eight thirty. Just regurgitated, you said. He yeah. did not want that. Yeah. Yeah. I recommend we take chest X ray because I I have a, I mean he pro we, he prob he probably has mega esophagus. Okay. And this is why he's getting the constant nose thing because yeah. he's bringing up stuff and it's getting caught back there. And you know, happens when we vomit sometimes. Yeah. Not our nose. And you are feeding him elevated. Yeah, I hand feed him. Okay, and it's um, it's uh, canned food. Half wet, half dry. Half dry. Yeah. So if if I so sometimes I'm very lucky on an X-ray I can actually see the enlarged esophagus. Sometimes I, you know, we'll do a barium swallow to see it. Yeah. Um, but basically, if it, that's the case, he was probably born with it. Yeah, I mean, that's what we said with the law. That's why when he regurgitates water, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And if that's the case, then maybe do I need to take him off pebbles and just strictly do wet? Yes. Okay. That helps. Yeah, because it, it wouldn't, it, it's probably nothing gets stuck. What happens is it gets stuck at that distal part of the esophagus and it just sits there. Yeah. And then, yeah, and so it, so we'll put him back on the doxy because I surely don't want him to get, he's probably just getting a rhinitis, but he might also could aspirate and get a pneumonia. Yeah. So until we get him, and so he's losing weight. Yeah. So he's, he's not getting enough food. So we, we need to, but we can't feed him as, you know, you probably have to do multiple small meals. Yeah, throughout the day. I don't know how that fits in your schedule, but it Yeah, is. no, I work from home, so I'm always oh, home. that's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm with them every day, basically. So sometimes we'll like, actually have them stand up on something so they're more upright when they eat. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so... And then with him, I'm guessing it's not contagious no. or whatever it, it could be, okay. That's why I had you come in, because I'm yeah. pretty sure it wasn't contagious. Okay, yeah, because he is around other dogs in... Uh, no. No, he's just getting too much other stuff in his okay. respiratory tract because... And then I was telling her that also, um, it couldn't be like a grain-free reaction, right? The, I doubt very seriously. Like allergy. Thing to do with that. Yeah. The, uh, grain foods are not allergic. It's just that hypo... Uh, hypo when we, way back when, when we had grain, a lot of foods had grains in them, when we switched to non-grain foods, dogs got better. Well, it was because some dogs are allergic to those things. Yeah. Some dogs aren't. So, but there are dogs that are allergic to potatoes and peas. Yeah. So it's, it's um, grain free, unless he's having an allergy. Now, if he's having a food allergy, usually what you see is very itchy skin, feet, ears. Sometimes they have diarrhea. Yeah, Maybe which his stool, everything is normal besides yeah. just the... So I don't think he has a food allergy and that okay. would not cause an esophagus. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right, it's just called genetics in life. And, okay. You know, He's so cute. And usually yeah. they're the nicest dogs ever. Yeah. Yeah. So they're currently doing an x-ray on Captain to see if everything's okay, I guess, to see everything down below. I know. He did great for you. Actually. Yeah. We also pulled some blood on him, okay? Just in case. Okay. Okay. Here you go, boy, Captain. Little guy. Little guy. Captain. <laughs> Little guy. Little man. Oofa. Okay. okay. She's th thinking that we're scre screaming megasophagus. Okay. The only way that we can definitively, definitively diagnose that is if we do a barium, something called a barium swallow, or we give him like a liquid that will light up on radiograph. Today we wouldn't be able to do that. Um, we'd have to schedule it for sometime next week. There's two tests that she has five differentials because there's a couple of different things that it could be. Um, One's a blood test that we sent to California University. 
it's a two hundred and sixty dollar test, and it takes five to seven days to come back. That would rule out the myosin and gravis. The other one is arresting cortisol to make sure that he's not Addisonian, which is like an adrenal uh, disease, okay. uh, which is manageable if that's what it is. Is you just put them on medications and then they you can regulate them. Yeah. Um, if the X-ray didn't show anything. I'm I'm guessing. So the X-rays, it's it's hard to. It didn't show anything like wow, like abnormal. She didn't right. see like a, a tumor anywhere. She didn't see anything abnormal. But without the barium, we can't really confirm that it's... And the point of the barium, like I said, if, if he does have it, then what is the next step? Or if he doesn't have it, then what? So if he, does, if he has it, then the, there's... Basically, like, I'm asking, is there, a, is there a point? Like, I personally think he probably has it. If she probably thinks they have it, is there a point to really confirm if he has it or not? Because at the end of the day, I know he has an elongated palate, so... With that, you know, I, like. So one of her other options is let's, let's we can do nothing, and also you can just try to feed elevated, yeah. okay, canned food only, no dry, yeah, and see if that helps. If you're seeing, because if he does have it, then I'm guessing it's going to be surgery. Is the next? I think like if you're going to like, if you want to pull out all the stops, I think there is a surgical procedure for that. Okay. Um, but there's not. It's not medication that like if he does have it. There's... There'll be other medications that like like an acid stuff like just stuff to keep it manageable. Okay. You know, but it, is there a medicine that can fix it? No. There, yeah. There is not. No, that's what I'm just curious because yeah. obviously like the X-ray didn't do anything, so I don't want to pay get the test and it's like oh okay well yeah. he does have it and there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, know? no, so, she's just offering it to you because there's so many differentials, so we can't just yeah. like put our hang our hat on one different thing. Yeah. It just the the tests rule out certain things and then we can zero in on mo what it most likely is. Okay. But um, then if you want, let's just do that. Let's just feed him elevated canned food. Yeah, canned safety, food. Safety. I mean, I hand feed him, so I, like I said, I'll, I maybe even try even more elevated, uh, so he's not, you know, yeah. standing. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I guess there. Yeah, I guess that's. And maybe so. Maybe that will stop the the boogers. Is that what she's trying to say, or? We, the boogers, I shouldn't discuss that part with you. No. Because that's the reason why we're here is because of the boogers, you know. Yeah. So. Unless she thinks that the whatever's going on with this megasophagus is coming up because because they're a brachycephalic dog. Yeah. So that definitely could be part of it. Okay. But um. Yes. So I guess no medication or any other uh, antibiotics or anything with the boogers or no? It's just. I'm waiting for her is. to say. Yeah. I'm waiting. She she okay. went to another room, so we'll see. Okay. You guys, the not nares and everything. This uh, this breed, they have a lot of yeah. Issues. I, I wish I would have done more research, but it, before I got them, but eh, you know, there's nothing I could do about it now. All right, just give us a couple minutes. Okay. All right, sounds good. So basically, they think he has like an enlarged uh, esophagus, which is the reason why like pebbles kind of get caught up. They told me to not feed dry food and to only get wet food. Right now, I've been doing them half and half. So this tonight, we're gonna start strictly just doing uh, wet food, and that should help. They're also gonna give me some more antibiotics to see if maybe that will help the sneezing and boogers. So everything seems to be, you know, kind of normal, kind of normal. But we'll see. He's still doing good though, right, Cap? You still doing good? He's still very playful. He still drinks water. Still eats. He, he he's a happy dog. It's just. The problem with that. So the last time I talked to you guys was Saturday. It is now Monday. I took basically two days off. I basically took off Saturday. I didn't upload Saturday as well as I didn't upload yesterday, which is Sunday. Today, Monday, I am uploading this video. Now, Saturday, I did leave off at Captain at the Vet. They gave me about a month's worth of antibiotics, hopefully to see if it'll be better. They're not really sure exactly what's the reason of the boogers or him sneezing, but I am also giving him only wet food. That might maybe help it. Um, without the dry food, it'll probably be a little bit difficult. The dry food was probably a little bit difficult for him to swallow, so I'm hoping the wet food will be perfectly, you know, it'll be a lot easier for him to digest and it'll just be better on and maybe he won't have to sneeze or whatever the case may be, I'm hoping that will do. As well as the antibiotics, when he was on the antibiotics, it wasn't really happening and now with the antibiotics giving him a month's worth, hopefully that will really, uh, like, put his immune system good and he won't be getting sick or have any mucus or whatever the case may be. Unfortunately, that visit was pretty expensive. They had to do multiple x-rays just to make sure he didn't have any tumors, any other things inside that was causing for him to 
for him to have that. So it was pretty expensive, so that's the reason why I did take off the past two days. I figured I already have a lot of inventory. I don't really wanna go and buy more inventory. Uh, let me just kinda just save these past two days. That was the reason why for the past two days I didn't wanna upload, I just didn't feel like going to the thrift store wasting some money when I just spent a lot of money on Captain. So that being said, that's kind of the reason for today's video. I just lowered, basically my whole entire website is on sale at the moment. 100 items listed down below, emcvlogs.com. Make sure you guys check it out. Now, you guys know I can only list 100 items on my website at the moment. I was gonna upgrade to 300, but like you guys said, 300 is just too much. So whenever I reach my limit, which is 100 items, basically I'm gonna do these sales. My sales, $4 t-shirts, guys. Literally thrift store prices. Yes, go right now, $4 t-shirts. Now, shipping will range between four to six dollars, so figure you're getting a t-shirt eight to ten dollars shipped to your door. That is unheard of, guys. Like, literally ten dollars shipped to your door is amazing deal. And a lot of other stuff is on sale as well. So today's video, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what's on sale, what's for sale, and just kind of give you a refresh on the items that I've have on my website. Just because you know some people don't feel like listing, going all the way, scrolling all the way down, but I guarantee you, you guys want to check out because a lot of the deals are really good price. So let's jump into it. I do want to start off with the four dollar t-shirt, just to kind of show you guys what it is. So basically, these were all ten dollar t-shirts. This is a vintage golf one, size XL. And I'm not gonna, you guys have seen this, I'm just gonna kinda run through the $4 t-shirts. You have the marble faded size medium. Uh, all the mountain shirts are $4 now. You have the cat, the cat, as well as the Planet Hollywoods, all the made in USA Planet Hollywoods. This one is from Washington DC. This one is from Maui. This is the hard rock though. But even so, I'm literally, I just want to refresh the things. That's the reason why I'm doing $4 t-shirts. You know, I can make room for the, for more stuff. Like, for example, if I would have went thrifting yesterday, if I would have went thrifting the day before that, I would have not had any room to upload inventory on my website. Another mountain shirt, the all over, the green with the deer. A little bit too close up. Gators t-shirt. You know, nothing too crazy, but at the end of the day, you, at, for eight and $10, you really can't complain. 2003 Florida Marlins, and all the t-shirts, like this is a size small, all the t-shirts range small to XL. Uh, you can add multiple t-shirts in your thing. Uh, one person already bought four t-shirts yesterday. I did the sale starting yesterday. If you're not following me on my Instagram, I'd follow me at, at DITR954. Basically, yesterday is when I announced the $4 t-shirts, and a lot of people did take advantage of it, but today is when you guys see it. So like I said, somebody went up and bought four t-shirts. You guys can buy all of them and kind of resell them yourself if you really want to. But again, link down below, emcvlogs.com. Uh, we just picked this up, but $4, you know, besides extra small, small, vintage Florida Keys. Mountain, the peace tree. If this doesn't sell, I'll probably keep it. See, that's the thing is like, when things don't sell and I need to list stuff, I just start keeping it. For example, I had this shirt for sale, but I decided, you know what, this shirt is fresh, I'm gonna keep it, because it's like, you know, white as well. A tie-dye, again, all $4, link down below. And two last shirts, we do have more $4 t-shirts, but I literally just picked like, some of the good ones. Uh, you have the Black History, double-sided, 365, literally $4. People sell these for $40, guys, so you really want to take advantage. And then for the ladies, we have the pink Minnie Mouse, $4. So basically, those were the $4, plus shipping, so figure $8 to $10 shipped at your door. You can get those, plus many other t-shirts linked down below. And now I'm just going to kind of show you guys regular price items. Now, regular price items meaning $10 items, $14 items, maybe even $20 items. Everything is very cheap. My prices are ridiculously low compared to any other place. If you guys find something cheaper, just send me a DM and I'll just match that price, but I guarantee you, you will not find something lower than my price. So brand new with the tags, Tommy Hilfiger cargo, little cargo shorts. These are size 38. These are $20. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger, forest green pocket tee with a little crest, $14. Like literally if this was at any other resale store, this would be $30 t-shirt just because of what it is. Michael Jackson t-shirt, I believe this is $10 now. $10 plus shipping, maybe $14 plus shipping, but even so, that's a steal. Michael Jackson shirt. Everybody was blowing me up when I first got this hoodie and literally now it's just sitting. But we have supposedly this designer, I don't really know the brand. If you guys watch the video, you guys will know the as, like I thought it was like Acne Studios, but I guess it's not. This is on Essence for $200. It's on my website for $40, guys. All embroidered, size, extra small, small hoodie, $40. Uh, what is this, Russell Athletics jersey, made in USA, $20. 
Oh, this is actually another $4 t-shirt. We have the ESPN wife. Size small, medium, Nike, Miami Hurricanes jersey. This is like $10. Another jersey, about $10. So as you guys see, my prices are very good. Um, again, t-shirts starting at $4 plus shipping and then going up. Every single purchase really does help make support these daily videos. Whenever you guys buy a bunch of things is that when I can wake up in the morning and hit the thrift stores and make a video for you guys buying even more things just to keep the kind of ball rolling. Like I said, I did have to spend a lot of money with Captain, so that was the reason why I didn't get to upload the last two days, just because I kind of had to save money for those last two days. So again, check link down below emcvlogs.com. I appreciate every single one of you guys, as well as I do have keychains link for sale, one for 20 or three for 50 in the bundle deal. I have yellow, black, and white. Those really do help support these videos, so I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video at 8 p.m., and don't forget, guys, let's get it.